At first glance, the new iPad Pros may look very similar to what you've seen from 2018 up until now. But as you get closer to the product, you will see that there are some key changes. Starting up with the, how thin this new product is. Some YouTubers are saying that this is about four credit cards thick. And I don't know how thick their credit cards are. Mine are definitely not as thick. I measured it at about five credit cards thick. Now, either way, that's still a huge feat of engineering for Apple, especially with how powerful this product is. Just because it's thinner is not a bad thing either. It One, it's a lot lighter and it's more portable to use. Two, it's more durable and the battery is still the same as it was since 2018. Now, you can say the battery should have gotten better, but with how thin and light the product is and how good the battery already was, I don't really care. I don't think it's that big of a deal with the battery being the same 10 hour battery life that's been quoted for the last six, seven years. Next up is the new Tandem OLED display. Now, this is incredible to me. I think it's the coolest thing Apple has ever done in my opinion. Tandem OLED is a super interesting idea of where you take two OLED screens and just lay them on top of each other like two pieces of paper laying on top of each other. It's a really cool idea and the light going through both of them is making it brighter than what one screen could be. So now this is clocking in at about a thousand nits of brightness. That That's huge, right? And for the size 11 inches or 13 inches, I think that is super cool to see how Apple has put this together. And I mean, the new displays are incredible. My wife who can't tell 60 Hertz from 120 Hertz, she saw the new iPad Pro screen and as soon as she saw it, she was floored by the screen quality. The blacks are gorgeous. The colors pop out. It is a huge step forward in screens for honestly all companies. One day, this will just be the norm for everything and I am beyond excited for that. Lastly, the M4 chip. This was supposed to be one of the biggest changes to the iPad, but there, right now there is nothing that's gonna take the M4 chip to its limit. The M1 and M2 chips in the iPad Pro honestly were enough. Yes, I love how iPadOS is and I think there's nothing wrong with iPadOS the way it is right now, but I don't see why Apple would add an M4 chip if they aren't going to add something insane to the iPad Pro to take the M4 to its max. So possible AI features, possible stronger video editing features, pro apps that are actually kind of pro. Now that'll be all really cool. And if you want to know more about what Apple could do to make iPad OS even better and take advantage of that M4 chip, there's going to be a video listed down below. Check that out. Oh, and if you wanted to use your old Apple Pencil and Magic Keyboard with this new iPad, think again, because the new iPad only works with the Apple Pencil Pro and the, and the new Magic Keyboard made with aluminum. Now, the new Magic Keyboard is pretty cool. There's a new function row on it, but other than that, nothing really to write home about. Just as good as the last one. I thought the last one was incredible. I had no issues using it. I did a lot of video editing on it and I loved it. This new one is going to be just as good, if not better. Typing experience is going to feel a little bit better and it, it's a great keyboard. And of course the, the outside is still that crappy, whatever slimy feeling texture. Other than that, I think it's great. USB-C port on the side is still only for charging. Maybe one day Apple will fix that. Who knows? The new Apple Pencil Pro is awesome. There are so many cool features on that. And if you want to try that out, go to an Apple store, go to your local Costco, try it out. The new Apple Pencil is insane. It's really cool. But if you're not an artist, if you're not going to draw, you're just going to use the Apple Pencil Pro as a glorified stylus. For 120 bucks, a bit overkill, but hey, it's still Apple. It's really freaking cool. If you enjoy this video and you see more content like this, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm Jake. This is Shot on My Phone.